Good morning and happy Saturday. Oh my goodness. So I haven't been filming and doing this plan as you go, which is fine. That's pretty much the main reason why I try not to do planner challenges or get into any crazy planner themes because I'm the world's worst. I'm horrible about filming every day. I don't like to do it. I don't, I don't, it's not even that I don't like to do it. I just like, I just can't make myself do it, but it's okay. Um, I have been working in my planners, but I just wanted to take today to get caught up. I know this whole plan as you go is about planner accountability. So today I'm taking inventory of being accountable for the things in my planner. So the first one I'm gonna start out with is my self-care planner. And let us see. Um, I have been writing. So even though I haven't been posting videos, I still have been writing the best thing that happened to me on Thursday and Friday. And last night I wrote the best thing that happened to me was that Henry, no, actually I put, was that I remembered to take all of my vitamins Yes, and I was grateful for Henry ordering dinner because I worked over last night, so I didn't get off work until like 7.30, and when Henry come home, he decided to order pizza, which was great, and I was so happy and thankful. And the thing that I put um, my self-care was that I remembered to take my vitamins. I always forget my vitamins. So anyway, I just have to fill in for the weekend, and I think I'm gonna do something different with this next week. I like writing the best thing that happened to me, but I feel like this is a waste of a lot of space. Um, I had in the past kind of played around. Um, originally, I used it to track like word counts, how many chapters I read, how many steps I had in a day. And then I did this thing right here where I checked off if I read that day, if I did my meditation, journaling, writing, but I keep up with my morning, my miracle morning routine and my good morning, good life planner. So I don't need to do that. But I was thinking um, like the vitamins, if I take my vitamins, if I, you know, on the days that I wash my hair, if I do my hair care routine, my morning skincare, just kind of more tracking and accountability for the actual self care. Um, the things that I'm doing to take care of myself. So I'm thinking about trying something different with it next week. That is this one. Uh, the next one is my Agenda 52, and I love her so much. And so let's see. I am going to catch up, but I have done a lot of things. So Thursday, I did vacuum the stairs in the entryway, which was crazy because it rained. Um, the main reason that I didn't do any filming Thursday morning was because about 4 a.m., my weather radio started going crazy with tornado watches, tornado warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings. Uh, started at 4 a.m., didn't stop until after 7, so it was three constant hours of just nonstop severe weather alerts, so I didn't get much of anything accomplished, but I did vacuum the living room, the stairs, and I mopped the entry. Now, they were supposed to deliver our couch on Wednesday, and they never showed up, so they came Thursday, and so by the time these two boys came in and out, bring in the couch and all the components of the couch and get it put together, this whole vacuum in the living room and mop in the entry went right out the window because they tracked everything in. Anyway, that was that. So Friday, tidy under the sink. I haven't wiped the cabinet fronts off yet and that's what I'm using today. Henry's working today on Saturday and I'm using today as a catch up day. Um, clean the office bathroom. I still have to do that and sweep and mop the office. So I didn't get these things done yesterday, getting those knocked out today. This morning, it's Saturday. I was supposed to go to Cherokee Toyota. I was supposed to take my car. They've got some labels there that weren't um, in when I picked my car up after the accident. 
but this morning it was snowing and it's snowing pretty bad and actually in Cherokee County and I'm not going over there. My driveway is super, super steep and I'm not backing that car out of this garage um, as long as it's slushy outside. And I was going to go to Planet Fitness because my membership is actually at the gym in Canton and I needed to either transfer it to Cartersville or just cancel it altogether. So I haven't been able to get out of the house. So those things, the Cherokee Toyota, they closed at noon. I'll have to do that next weekend. Planet Fitness, I may can go over tomorrow because it would be a great excuse to go see Ryan and the babies. Um, so I just have to wipe my cabinet fronts and then clean downstairs my office and the bathroom downstairs and that is everything here. Menu wise, uh, let's see, Saturday was eat out, um, which we ate out Friday because what happened was I was going to make sloppy joes on Thursday and hamburger helper on Friday. Well, apparently I never picked up a can of sloppy joe mix. I had buns, I had sweet potato fries, I had the ground beef, cannot find a can of sloppy joe mix in my pantry anywhere. So I had to use the hamburger helper. Friday night, I worked late. Henry ordered dinner, which was pizza delivery. So tonight, I was supposed to make him a meatloaf. I haven't been able to get out and get groceries yet, but the snow is turned to rain now, and it's kind of washing it away, but it's still kind of slushy out. So I'm waiting. The winter advisory only lasts until 4 p.m., so I'm hoping that after a few hours of no snow and staying above freezing, the rain will wash all the slush off the roads, and I should be fine to go out later. Which I had meatloaf originally for Sunday, and that's maybe what we do by the time. I'm just going to kind of play it by ear on these road conditions, so we may eat out tonight, my tree, and then have meatloaf tomorrow. Uh, as far as my daily tasks, um... Friday was tidy the linen closet. Where is my little highlighter? Because I do have the linen closet tidied. Um, and organized planner supplies was on tap for today. I haven't gotten around to that yet. And I still, I need to empty some boxes. I haven't got around to that yet either. House cleaning schedule for the week. Let's see, so I have to clean the third bathroom. The bedroom was already cleaned. Laundry, I did some laundry today for Saturday. Um, change sheets, vacuum, and mop. I haven't done any of that, but I will be doing that this evening down here as far as my Fly Lady zone cleaning chores. Um, I have the drawers tidied and I have tidied under the sink and so I still have to catch up and do wipe the cabinet fronts and I'll be completely finished with all of my zone chores for the week once I get that done today and that is everything for my home planner my next planners I have is my Good Morning Good Life Planner, and I am really kind of behind on this one. Um, I did do Henry's W-2s. I worked on my budget, set up auto payments. Now, Thursday was the morning we were having all the severe weather. I didn't do anything. Um, I didn't work out, I didn't read, I didn't write, I didn't do meditation, I didn't do anything at all. Uh, yesterday, I read, I didn't write, and I didn't um, work out. Honestly, I didn't. I did pay my bills, and that's all I got accomplished Friday. Uh, today, I haven't really done much of anything yet because I've been trying to pick up a little bit in the house and just watching the, the snowfall. I've been spending most of my morning watching snowfall. So my five-year memory book, A Line a Day, 
let me see. I haven't journaled today, and today's the 8th, so I'm caught up to the 7th. Got to put in my entry for the day, and I will be caught up on that. My gratitude journal, I actually started writing, and I only made it. Okay, so my phone's going dead. I'm going to hurry on this one. So my gratitude journal, I actually started and only wrote two things down. And this, I started yesterday morning. Um, since I'm doing this as part of a book club uh, for a book about manifesting your best life, and the activity is to, first thing in the morning, write down 10 things that you're grateful for and your morning affirmations. It's currently... 12:43 p.m. Uh, I think doing this first thing is already a failure. So I'm probably just going to take those two that I started and start from there and do this in the morning. I'm not touching this one again today. And the last planner that I worked in was I get paid every two weeks. So on those every two weeks, I come in and work on my budget. And so yesterday I figured up everything that was due on during this paycheck and I went through and marked off everything as I paid them. And then I went through and did my debt payoff status, which unfortunately, while we were staying with Ryan, I was able to pay off a pretty substantial amount of my debt. Wanted to get more paid off, but we moved. Moving is expensive, and it didn't matter that Henry and I had money saved up for our deposits and our rent. There were just unplanned things that we had to make purchases for, and so my debt actually, instead of decrease this month, it went up $169, which isn't a horrible amount, but it did go up instead of going down, so... Um, I just got to be really more diligent next month to get it down more. And that um, was it. I am officially caught up in all of my planners. Um, just have a few house chores to knock out today as far as uh, cleaning the downstairs in the office and the bathroom and wiping the front of the cabinets. And then eventually I got to get these things done, but everything else is completely done and I've got a journal in my one line a day and I'm pretty much done with everything here. I, I need to work out my emergency plan and finish up my 20 for 2020 um, and that's it. So that is getting caught up in my planners for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.